Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do you have to pay for a tax ID number? NCNA Tax Identification Number, TIN, is a unique identifier used by the IRS. It is essential for tax filing and reporting purposes. There are different types of TINs, including Social Security Numbers, SSNs, Employer Identification Numbers, EINs, and Individual Taxpayer Identification Numbers, ITNs. Each serves a specific purpose based on the entity's needs. NENN SSN is assigned to individuals by the Social Security Administration. It is used primarily for personal identification and tax purposes. Most U.S. citizens and permanent residents receive an SSN at birth or upon legal residency. NNN EIN is assigned to businesses, trusts, estates, and other entities by the IRS. It is necessary for entities that hire employees, operate as corporations or partnerships, or file certain tax returns. NNN ITIN is issued by the IRS to individuals who are not eligible for an SSN but need to file a tax return. ITNs are used by non-resident and resident aliens, their spouses and dependents who cannot obtain an SSN, NN obtaining an SSN involves no cost for U.S. citizens and residents. The Social Security Administration provides this service free of charge. Similarly, applying for an EIN through the IRS is free. Businesses and other entities can obtain an EIN online, by mail, or by fax without any fees. However, some third-party services may charge fees to assist with the application process. These services are optional, and individuals or entities can apply directly without incurring any costs. It is important to be cautious of scams that claim to expedite the process for a fee. And for ITNs, there is no fee for the application itself. However, applicants may incur costs if they seek assistance from an IRS-authorized certifying acceptance agent. These agents can help with the application process and verify documents. NN in conclusion, obtaining a TIN, whether it is an SSN, EIN, or ITIN, typically involves no direct cost. Any fees encountered are usually for optional services or assistance. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.